I do wonder between the California prop and the credits in the Inflation Reduction Act, if we are at some kind of tipping point on EV policy. Well, I think we absolutely are at the point of EV policy. When you look at the Inflation Reduction Act and what's in there in terms of not only incentives for consumers, the tax credit incentives, but there's a lot of grants and incentives there for uh, for manufacturing and automakers uh, to build you know battery uh, facilities, manufacturing plants here in the U.S. So it very much is a watershed moment. You know, that it all comes down to how it gets executed, and obviously it's it's quite confusing right now given some of the criteria. Uh, that you have to meet to, uh, to to get the tax credit incentives. But that'll work itself out over time. But it is very much is a watershed moment. Yeah. Do you think, is California a good tell on how national policy, emissions policy develops? Well, it is a bellwether. For any other reason, there are 17 other states that typically follow uh, California's, uh, the current auto emission standards. So the vote that they take today uh, by CARB or the California Air Resources Board, that, that's going to reverberate well beyond the borders of California. And that's going to cause the industry to speed up its switch to the EVs. Of course, then it comes down to the ability of the industry to actually do that, given the fact they have to procure a lot of elements uh, that are in short supply and very expensive and you know battery plants to get the capacity there. So it's going to come down to the execution. But yes. It is a bellwether for the rest of the country. As for pricing, um, we do have uh, Ford opening up some order books on the Mustang, I think, uh, with some price increases. Tesla raising the price of some of their software. All of that's happening as used car Mannheim data is starting to roll over, and we're a couple months away from it maybe going negative year on year. What is happening with auto pricing right now? Well, auto pricing right now, you do see seasonality in the uh, used car options. So that's a little bit of seasonality there. But what you're seeing in pricing, particularly on EVs, is, listen, all these automakers, uh, they, they know that the margins that they make on EVs are lower than the ICE vehicles or their internal combustion engine vehicles. And so if you think of just the input costs for electric vehicles, whether it's, you know, lithium, the elements like lithium and cobalt and nickel, or just the battery packs themselves, it's gone up exponentially this year. So to protect those margins from going negative, you're seeing folks like Ford and GM and Tesla be very aggressive in pricing. And they're saying, hey, listen, you know, it's not a problem right now because they have large uh, order books and, and waiting times, which is true. But the real test is gonna come when it comes to mass adoption. And when they're bringing out all that capacity, at the end of the day, the consumer has to be able to afford it. So I think that's going to be very important going forward that the industry is going to have to face with rising input costs, but having to sell more to the mass market, which can't afford $60,000. Yeah.